Tesla announced that Gigafactory Texas has reached a weekly production rate of 3,000 Model Y vehicles for an annual rate of 150,000 Model Ys. Tesla intends to ramp up production output at Gigafactory Texas dramatically in the first quarter of 2023. The automaker expects 75,000 Model Y vehicles to leave the factory in the first quarter of 2023. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we will take a look at Tesla Giga Texas hitting its 3,000 Model Y production per week and further updates. Tesla Gigafactory Texas production has reached 3,000 Model Y units per week, a new high for the company's new electric vehicle factory. Tesla's stock has fallen dramatically in recent weeks. The automaker previously stated that the Gigafactory Berlin is now producing 2,000 vehicles per week. Tesla previously confirmed 1,000 vehicles per week at Giga Texas in June, but the production rate has not been updated since then. Many saw it as evidence that the Texas factory was lagging behind its German counterpart, but there were also signs that Tesla was preparing for a significant ramp up. Elon Musk's Twitter deal has cast a shadow over Tesla recently, but the automaker appears unfazed. Tesla has its sights set on the price as it ramps up production in Texas, Berlin, and even China. The EV automaker is also still looking for ways to improve the efficiency of the Fremont factory. Tesla is expanding its Gigafactory in Texas while also ramping up Model Y production and preparing for the Cybertruck. Tesla's goal for Giga Texas is to reach a weekly production rate of 5,000 Model Y vehicles by the end of the year. It set the same objective for Giga Berlin. It's crunch time for Tesla's newest Gigafactories with only a few weeks left in 2022. Tesla aims to produce 10,000 cars per week by the end of 2023. There's always a lot of uncertainty, Elon Musk said during the Q2 2022 earnings call. However, I believe that you can have a lot more certainty at the end of the S-curve. As a result, I am confident that we will reach 5,000 cars per week in Austin and Berlin by the end of this year or early next year, and probably, but not certainly, 10,000 cars per week in both locations by the end of next year, he said. The Cybertruck will enter initial production at Tesla Gigafactory Texas next year. Photos of Cybertruck rear megacasts were recently spotted at Giga Texas, indicating how far Tesla has progressed in its preparations. Tesla recently launched Tesla Electric in Texas. Arushi Sharma Frank, Tesla's U.S. Energy Markets Policy Lead, and her team worked tirelessly with the Texas Utility and the Texas Public Utility Commission to make this happen. Earlier this year, Tesla Energy took part in a number of meetings and hearings with utilities to demonstrate how a virtual power plant would benefit the state. VPPS would allow Tesla Powerwall owners to help reduce the strain on the state's fragile grid by sending extra renewable energy back to the grid. The ERCOT Board of Directors unanimously approved a pilot project that allows Tesla VPPS prior to this launch. On Thursday, Alex Gichen, Tesla's mobile app product manager, tweeted, Really excited to ship this. Tesla Electric in Texas, a retail electricity offer with real-time pricing for solar and power wall exports. It is a pretty competitive rate offer. It has a peak pricing structure. But Powerwall and Tesla Electric Mode serve as buffers to prevent peak prices, he explained. Best of all, you can see the community power flow in real time, including Tesla's sustainable power sources feeding your home, he added. Sharma Arushi Frank also expressed her thoughts on the new launch. In Texas, the VPP path begins here. Thousands of distributed megawatts can be used to address great challenges in Texas. This revolution will be driven by consumers. Congratulations to everyone on the launch team. When compared to similar plants, Tesla Electric members have the potential to earn over 50% more in credits on their electricity bills. Tesla Electric is only available in a few states for owners who want to sign up. In Texas, owners must live in a retail choice area and have a Powerwall installed at the residence. Look for the Tesla Electric banner in the Tesla app to see if this plan is available for you, Tesla said. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Now coming back to the topic. As seen in Joe Tet Mayer's drone footage, Tesla is continuing to expand Giga Texas. 
Tet Mayer share his perspective on the new construction with updated maps after the footage was shot on Friday. As Tesla continues to expand, the maps depict a sprawling Giga Texas. On the right of the photo below is a construction map of Giga Texas. The picture depicts the actual factory as well as several highlighted construction zones. Ted Mayer stated that there are numerous construction areas on the Tesla property as well as new construction that will begin soon. He quickly analyzed each construction area in the video, noting updates and current progress. Tesla's warehouse on wheels concept, which uses trailers to store parts rather than storing them inside the main factory, is one example. According to Ted Mayer, this also saves time for truckers to deliver and drop off trailers. Overall, this entire section is still transforming, and it plays an important role in the construction of Giga Texas, Ted Mayer said. Texas Road is being widened in addition to the changes at Giga Texas. Ted Mayer noted that a large number of steel materials had recently been deposited, but the brown materials had been there for about a year and a half. I'm not sure what role that plays, he continues. A new structure is being built on the west side of Tesla's battery cathode plants. The city of Austin has issued a building permit for a 107,000 square foot single story structure with water management and storage capabilities. Ted Mayer noted that trenching on the left side is most likely for large underground pipes. Tesla is also conducting soil tests. Ted Mayer mentioned that there was a permit for a boring company tunnel and shared his thoughts on how it might look. He indicated two pictures. One is a video slide that depicts a Colorado River connector tunnel with a boring company number. The other indicated roughly where the tunnel would be dug. It would go from near the Battery Cathode plant, underneath the Colorado River, and over to this small nearby island. It's about a little more than 2,000 feet long, or maybe 800 meters, he added. Ted Mayer mentioned that while he didn't know what the tunnel's purpose would be, it could be a way for the public to visit a road in Area 7 and then gain access to this area of the property. A weekly production rate of 3,000 vehicles equals to an annual production rate of 150,000 vehicles. Tesla had originally planned to reach 5,000 units per week by the end of the year. It doesn't look like the automaker is going to achieve this goal in the next few weeks. But the goal of 75,000 Model Ys in Q1 2023 is starting to look more reasonable. Tesla intends to ramp up production in the United States as quickly as possible in order to meet demand when its vehicles re-enter the EV federal tax credit in 2023. However, the impending new credit is reducing Tesla's demand in the United States, as many buyers prefer to wait until the new year. Gigafactory Texas will eventually be able to produce 500,000 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. Next year, the factory will also house Cybertruck and Tesla semi-production. It is difficult to predict when Tesla will be able to reach full capacity of 5,000 units per week, but it will not be this year. We believe it's going to happen in the first half of 2023. The most recent milestone does not allow us to determine the ratio of 4680 and 2170 type battery versions. According to our information, Tesla was forced to include the 2170 power version shortly after production began due to a lack of 4680 type battery cells. The new version is still not listed on the company's website, implying that volume is still very limited in comparison to the 2170 power version produced in Fremont, California. The Tesla Giga Texas plant will eventually produce the Tesla Cybertruck pickup. And with that being said, it is time to end our video. Before that, we would like to know, what are your thoughts about Giga Texas? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.